And it's one of those things where it's like you can never recreate that. Exactly. The magic is like you had to be there too. Like exactly. If you weren't there and didn't know how that felt, mm -hmm. it was crazy. I was so excited to see every episode after that. And they were all good. Hey everyone, it's Mirror Mangle, Fabrielle, and Capona, and welcome to another Mangled Morning. Woo! Woo! A few lavender princesses here. Oh yeah. We're, yes. all, we're all giving purple. Yes, purplina. Are you giving a specific reference? Yes, I'm Lady Amalthea from The Last Unicorn. It's an animated movie mm. with actually Jeff Bridges and I think Mia Farrow. It's like got a crazy cast, but it was like sounds old. Yes, it is very old. <laughs> Speaking of old, I'm giving uh, Thelma Harper, Mama's Family. Yeah. But like with the not being able to wear body, this is a good opportunity. Aww. I didn't have a purse to match, so I got my Spice Girl purse. But she always used to do this too, you know. Yeah. <laughs> She's a fun character. You're not giving a character, but you look no. stunning. Thank you. This is made by a local girl named Fade. I was kind of going for like warrior princess vibes. I see that. This would be your water bending look. Tea. Your what? Water bending. Avatar. Oh. Yes. You said you're what? <laughs> when you did that hand motion, I understood it. I was literally thinking like she has a job where she pours water. <laughs> Oh my gosh. And that like that's too. A, that would be if that was a job like oh I serve water at the table. Yeah. They would call it something like that to fancify True. it. Yes. <laughs> anyway, we're we're to, we have a fancy list here today. Is that a good transition? We're talking about the All Star <laughs> premieres. We're gonna look at the, all the All Star premieres ranked by y'all on IMDb. So if you don't like the rating, go change it. And also <laughs> another disclaimer on that: a lot of times we do these lists, and you can go through and rate any episode at any time, no matter how old it is. Mm. So this is the ratings today. They can change and evolve. Okay. Start off with the lowest rated and work our way up to the highest rated premiere. Okay. And then we'll talk about like why we think that is and if we agree with those ratings. Mm. But before we get started, make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button, like the video, and join the Patreon where you can see all kinds of additional content you can't see on YouTube. <laughs> the hits this week have been so sad. <laughs> Plus you're helping support the channel. Now you can also support the channel by tipping on Venmo or Cash App like these fine folks did. Big shout out to Anthony L who asked if this was a real pothos plant and said that I was a certified plant daddy. Today Ooh. certified Ooh. plant grandma. Yes, it is real. <laughs> yeah. And it's getting kind of big. So if it gets too much bigger, she might have to find a new home. Oh. I don't mean like actually give her just a different spot in the house. Oh, okay. Right, 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 right. Put her down. I thought you give her like... up for adoption. No. <laughs> right, who's taking her home today? <laughs> uh, big shout out also to Kelpie M who said that we're close to 500 videos. Uh, I don't ever pay Whoa. attention to that because you know we do so many on Patreon too. Oh. I'm sure if I looked it up, we're well over a thousand total. Oh oh, we no. do just as much content on there every week, if not more sometimes. Yeah. Also shout out to Cynthia E, one of our regulars over on the Patreon, whose son is graduating from college a future CPA. Congratulations, Cynthia and son. What is that? Certified physician's assistant. Maybe. That would be my guess. Maybe. Now I want to look it up. What did I do with that phone? I just had it. Right here. Right there. Oh. <laughs> See, I'm old. <laughs> so, this secret. look is like how I feel physically. <laughs> but the problem is I just look so good, people don't believe it. Oh, right. You know? <laughs> Child practitioner. Certified public accountant. Oh. oh so okay. accountant. Congratulations, that's just That's good, too. Yeah, yes. that's great. And then finally, Tyler S., who said, while that there are rumored season three Espana queens on the All-Stars Espana, but season three isn't even over, over yet. It's still going. So the girls must have gone... Dang. Like, they must have left and, like, gone straight from filming that to All-Stars, yeah. Mm. Oh. I have not seen the spoilers, and I don't want to see it, because Espana's still happening. I yeah. don't want to see who's not going to make it. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe once we finish Espana, mm -hmm. then we'll we'll talk about that list. But yeah. if there's major spoilers of a season currently airing, I don't want to... I don't need to see that. We'll yeah. cross that bridge when we come to it. Speaking of old ladies, I don't know if you guys saw this, but Bianca Del Rio got signed to CAA, one of the biggest talent agencies in the entire world. Management, like... Huge, massive celebrities are yes. signed with this only. That's amazing. That's amazing. Like, this is a big deal. I feel like we're going to start seeing Bianca, even though she's already is prominent, like the kind of stuff Jinx has been doing with Broadway and Doctor yeah. Who. I think we're going to start seeing Bianca Del Rio doing that stuff. Oh, for sure. And she deserves it. She does. For sure. She's an incredible comedian. She's you know. still the standard. Yeah. She's the blueprint. And she's so professional. She really she is. She gets things She done. really is. Yeah. And she's actually like so kind and sweet mm -hmm. if you actually meet her. The way people rate is typically very emotional, right? So like mm. if their favorite gets eliminated, if they don't yeah. like certain mm -hmm. elements, that's typically when we see people go in and give passionate lower ratings. Yeah. yeah. This first one though, the bottom of the barrel at number what, eight, makes sense. I'm not surprised. All-Stars won with 7.1 out of 10. Yeah. 
Which is actually, like, not a horrible rating. It's not. Yeah. They got there and immediately were like, you're in teams. Mm -hmm. Like, that's probably why. We're changing the format. Yeah. Yeah. And it's like, oh. Because, like, out of all the formats they could have done, that is just... Why not just have less girls? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Or if you are going to do teams, let them plan ahead ahead of time. time Exactly. And come together as, As like, RuPaul's best friend race, you know? Or, like, if if you wanted to cast all 12 of them, yet you could only have the six episodes... Do still let them compete individually and eliminate two people per episode. That would be a gag. No. Double eliminations every, every episode. Every week, right. Now because, that's a format yeah. switch up I would like So that's still based on your performance. Yeah. yeah. But I mean, it is an iconic season. It is. I wouldn't change anything about it <laughs> just for that first episode on Tucked alone. Yeah. One of the best, like, casts of all time. Yeah. Could you imagine if they got to do a normal All-Stars? Because it is such a, yeah. like, stacked stellar Well, cast. most of the... How many of them have now? Most of them have been back. Yeah. Because yeah, Manila, Latrice... Um, it's actually less to count if you count the ones that haven't been back. Yeah. So you got Chanel. Nina Flowers, Chanel, Timmy Brown, so all the season one girls. Mm-hmm. Of course, Raven. Um, Chad won, so she hadn't come back. But I think that's... And Mimi. But yeah. everyone else has been back. I would love yeah. to see Nina Flowers back. I, love I would Flowers. too, but if she wants to, because it doesn't seem like she does drag like that. Oh. You know, like yeah. she DJs a lot just in right. face. Right, yeah. So like if she's sweet. not into it, like she don't need to. Yeah, mm-hmm. for sure. I do love watching this episode though. Just the beginning, the entrances, them walking down the street and yeah. saying the yeah. tagline. Oh my god. Oh, this G-G-G. is one. I mean, this is like, yeah, premiere entrances. Exactly. Like, yeah. That part is great. It is so good. And then it takes a hard left turn. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's still fun. I mean, watching Pandora give up and struggle and all that oh is. Oh my god. Is, oh, and the untucked. The untucked is everything. That is. It's yeah. worth it for that. Yeah. yeah. Juju's confessionals are at peak so, level. Yeah. You know. Mm-hmm. And we did get iconic stuff like the Latrice and Manila pairing, the Raven and Juju. I yeah. mean, they're still, you still associate them with each other to this day. Yeah. yeah. And I liked that one challenge they did where they had to go out on the streets. Behaving badly. Oh, God. Yeah. yeah. But, like, they would never do that now. I know. Because then people political would be like, oh, my God. Yeah. yeah. Well, that, not even political Spoilers. climate, but they the would spoiler. Know. Yeah, yeah. People right. would be like, oh, they're They're cast. famous now. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So they're famous now. But then also, I do feel like it's, Maybe maybe it's just my mind saying that, but like before people would almost just ignore it, but because people are emboldened, they might confront instead. You know, yeah. like we're oh, in that kind of environment. That's true. In yeah. a way that we wouldn't really want. Yeah. yeah. So we're moving on. Sorry to get serious there, but <laughs> I mean there okay. could be real world. Yeah, we get exactly. real. I didn't even think about that. All Stars Eight, the newest one. Oh. I think this was a great premiere. I do too, especially like Aja's lip sync and mm. like the, the groups were fun to watch. The, the group, entrances yeah. were great. Yeah. There's no, I have no problems with this episode. There's good drama. Yeah. Candy and Heidi. So. Yeah, and I like that they switched it up with the fashion show. So yeah, like, that was cool. I don't know. I think because there's so much, there, there's so many more eyes on it and people are just harsher in general because yeah. we've had so much happen mm-hmm. um, that people are just probably more strict on yeah. the ratings. So. And the cast was kind of polarizing when it first came out. That too. Yeah. They think some people don't deserve it or they don't want to see them on. Um, or maybe it's like the f- twist too. Maybe people don't like the twist. The same game. True. And it definitely was wordy. Like the longer route. At first I got it, the and then Rue kept talking, and I was like, now I'm not sure if I do understand. <laughs> right. Well, the only like issue I have with this episode was the sound editing. Really. For the yeah. for yeah. the groups, yeah, that's true. Like, but still, I mean, seven seven point six out of ten is that's not bad. Still a good rating. Yeah. This is probably our first list what we've done with IMDb ratings where like. The average is higher than it normally would be. Mm-hmm. You know, yeah, like good. there's no horrible ratings. Also, I didn't even mention this. For this particular case, we are going to include the verse of the worlds as well. So this is actually a top Ooh. ten. So this is actually number nine. Oh, oh wow! <laughs> Scratch it. At number, I just won't say numbers. Up next is All Stars six with seven point nine out of ten. I feel like I liked All Stars eight better than this one a little bit. I agree. This is probably my top three favorite All-Star seasons ever. Yeah. Yeah. However, this, if you look at it just this specific episode, there's, what, 13 girls. So the talent show feels really rushed. Yes. There isn't too many iconic um, talent show performances in this one. That's true. There's not any that, like, come to mind immediately. Besides Raja making the dress. Exactly. But she didn't even win. Yara won with the boobs. Scarlet's Bubbles. Scarlet's Bubbles, but Mm. she was just safe. See, those kind of things where people don't win or the wrong people win... Those also make people give things lower ratings. Right. True. Because yeah. then they don't agree with it and they're like, I'm going to take that out and show RuPaul. Right. <laughs> but I will say, like, Coco Montrese being the first assassin, and there was something about the assassin format that really worked this season that didn't work yeah. for me on All Stars 5. Yeah. Uh-huh. Like, it was so exciting every week, and yeah. Coco kicked off with a bang. Yeah, mm-hmm. Coco looked great. Although, I will say, I don't. I didn't 
like that Bruno Mars song. Oh yeah, yeah. They've had a it. few All Star premieres where it's a male a male song. Like Live in La Vida Loca. Yeah, that one was good. Oh, we'll yeah. get to that one. Yeah, so. that one I'm I like. Yeah. When I, he was at least there. Right. Yeah. Bruno has, has he even seen Drag Race? Probably not. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't they have Miss Piggy? Yeah. Okay, I love Miss Piggy. I do we too. Love Piggy. That eight and the reading challenge. The reading challenge yeah. was fun. It, again, it was fast, but uh, there was some really good reads. Yeah. yeah. The the one she didn't even win. I think Ginger won, but Kylie's read about Ginger Minj looking like a deep breath. Yes. One I, of the funniest reads. I love yeah. that. Up next is UK versus the world with eight out of ten. So it's very similar to the All Star Six one. Mm. I would put this one last because I am a lemon stan and this oh. really upset me. Like <laughs> so you I would get emotional about this. I one. would. I cannot tell you how angry I was. Like I I watch every episode of Drag Race I can and I legitimately okay. this was the one season I was like, I'm not I don't wanna watch anymore. But Pangina Pangina and Jimbo kept me watching. Mm. Yeah. Pangina gave like a classic drag race talent show performance in terms of the song and all that. Mm -hmm. Yet because she's the ho like we had no ex we had no idea what to expect from her, yet she delivered at another level. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know what I mean? Because she brought so much of her to it yeah. that we didn't even know she had. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then Jimbo's is still probably the weirdest talent show we've ever seen. Yet yeah. it was so captivating yeah. and hilarious. It was one of mm -hmm. my favorites. It's one of the best. I was ever. dying laughing. I was like, "What's mm -hmm. happening?" I will say I would put this one lower in general, not for the same reason you would for Lemon, but because the talent show as a whole, besides those performances was disappointing for me. I, I was really disappointed by a lot of the numbers. Mm -hmm. A lot of people were messy and yeah. sloppy yeah. and stuff and, like that. And they even like them like entering in on the stage. I didn't like that either. I hated and that. And I didn't like that they did that for Canada either. Yeah. Like I wish that hopefully if they keep bringing this format back of Versus the World, mm -hmm. that we just do normal entrances. Yeah. yeah, I think that's weird. I don't yeah. know. It was like they were trying to switch it up, but like for what? It mm -hmm. doesn't have the same vibe. Yeah. The newness of the internationals coming together, that excitement really carried that it. That was cool. Yeah. Oh, and to, to clarify too, this is the highest rated episode of that season. Makes so sense. it goes wow. down from there. And that makes sense to me. Yeah. Because people, all the faves kept getting eliminated. <laughs> and the, some of the sloppiness of what should be All Stars kind of continued to me. Yeah. yeah. Up next is All Stars 4 with 8.1 out of 10. So again, we're not seeing a lot of like, these are all very, very close. These mm -hmm. could just take a few people going in and rating. This is one I would put lower as well. I think so too. I would put 6 and 8 above this. Yeah. Again, because the wrong people to me, I think, win the challenge. Yeah. Um, I wasn't crazy about the winners. It's our second time talking about that this week. Right. And there were some great ones like Gia and Latrice and Manila that I would love to win. Gia, though, does bring the drama. Gia For was sure. the mm -hmm. kickoff to Gia being there was everything. Um, I think All Stars 4 has a good middle, though. It's one of my favorite seasons to watch after, like, two and then before the final five. There's mm -hmm. great challenges. Like, the Jersey Justice is so good. Yeah. The Lala Perus is so good. It's just like there's weeks where like I don't understand why they chose certain winners kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. the judging was weird yeah. on this one. But I do, this cast is great. I love Naomi, love Valentina, yes. so many of them. Poor Naomi was like top three every week, but not, never won. Yeah, always the bridesmaid, never the bride. Yeah. I loved her talent too when she took that wig off. Me too. And that bald head, like that was yeah. fun. That yeah, was that cool. was like stupid and yeah. fun and silly in a irreverent way that mm -hmm. was refreshing. Yeah, I think All Stars 4 is my favorite cast. Maybe not my favorite oh. season, but the cast itself I love okay. mm -hmm. a lot of them. There's a lot of superstars on this season that like, for instance, Valentina, that you I had higher expectations for throughout yeah. the season, not necessarily just here, mm -hmm. um, that I guess overall was disappointing too. Like yeah. mm -hmm. Valentina is a superstar name. That's why she's hosting Mexico. She didn't deliver. So superstar. to me, not seeing her in the finale, even though some of it's her own fault, mm -hmm. like this, don't, this doesn't make sense with my French vanilla fantasy. Yeah, yeah. she fizzled out. Mama has a fantasy too. <laughs> Up next is Canada vs. the World, and now we're to 8.3 out of 10. The last few All Stars and even the Vs. the World have been girl groups instead of the talent show. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What do we think of this one? I liked it. I was excited by this cast, like Victoria Scone coming, Scone, yeah. Scone, 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 Victoria Scone. Um, <laughs> I was excited by her and Vanity too coming yeah, back. Like me I was, too. I really, really liked them, and and Isis. Even though I was like, why are you here? You should be on an All Winners. <laughs> like, yeah. but but they, I think they did that. Bef they did this before All Winners was a thing, so Isis didn't know. I'm not sure. I, th huh. I think, I, rem I feel like she said that, but I don't remember. I liked this premiere, and I think, like, Silky, Raja, and Vanity really ate. Yeah, they sure did. Sure. SRV was memorable, but the other two groups, I mean, especially the Canada group, was, was not super memorable, I guess. Yeah. And then the other yeah. camp group, like, 
I think the only thing for me with this one was I wish that they went outside their boxes with who they chose as teams mm. so that it could be yeah. more dynamic or different types of interactions. Because there wasn't a lot of... This whole season, which was actually refreshing and lovely at the end of the year, there was no drama. There was yeah. no real friction. Yeah. Everyone really enjoyed and loved each other, which was nice to see. Mm-hmm. But it doesn't make it as memorable or like... Um, like, oh my god, I have to see this. Kind yeah. Of yeah. yeah. Maybe if they had, like, made a rule, you can't be on... With anyone you've already been on a season with. Oh, yeah. Because, like, Silky and Raja twice. Yeah. All the Canada girls from that same season yeah. all stuck together and did a girl group again. Yeah. I agree, though. I feel like um, this season had a lot of dead air in it. Mm. Like, the, this performance is, I feel like the girl group challenge was amazing. That's why it's pretty high rated. But I don't That's remember anything bad. about the workroom. I don't See, remember I, d- I disagree. I remember all these really heart... I mean, maybe that's why you don't remember, but there was a lot of really heartwarming, touching, oh. like, drag-to-drag mm-hmm. sister stuff in this one, mm-hmm. especially Silky and Victoria and, Raja. like, the stuff with... Yeah. yeah, and the stuff with Isis where they're all comforting her. That's so beautiful. <sighs> oh, yeah, um, you're right. But there is no drama besides Isis quitting, yeah. which wasn't yeah. even drama. Like, they embraced her and they took care of her and that's it was sweet. beautiful. But, yeah, there's... There's a little spark of fire maybe missing. And mm-hmm. some of the challenges, even though this cast is amazing and a lot of people did great, yeah. they're not as memorable. Yeah. Yeah. I think that, yeah, that that was probably, like, the most graceful, like, bowing out we've ever had. Because normally they're a little rocky, like, a door, you know. Mm-hmm. More tumultuous. Yeah. yeah, more tumultuous, yeah. But, like, this one, but maybe that's also why you think it's le- not as memorable. Yeah. Because it was almost <laughs> too kumbaya. It was very kumbaya. Yeah. yeah. Which... Yeah, again, was refreshing, but doesn't make it necessarily as memorable. Mm -hmm. For this group, though, after UK vs. The World, the bar was set low for season two, so my expectations (laughs) were low as well. Yeah. Yeah. So they, I feel like they definitely exceeded UK vs. The World. Yeah. Yeah. Which is crazy, because UK vs. The World has a lot of, like, legendary names. Exactly. Well, I I will say, I think UK vs. The World is more entertaining, but it leaves me feeling devastated. (laughs) (laughs) I enjoy the drama on that season, but I would say that the performances and a lot of the challenges aren't better than those. Yeah. Oh, you know yeah, I mean? that's fair. Yeah. 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 It's like, what do you want? Do you want... Right. They don't all, n- neither one has had all, all of it. So maybe yeah, the yeah. next verse of the world will. Exactly. How about that? <laughs> yeah. Up next is All Stars 3 with 8.6 out of 10. What was the last one? Was it 8.3? Mm-hmm. So we're jumping up set now. Ooh, yeah. This is a great premiere, great talent show, mm-hmm. great cast. I agree. No complaints, honestly. Uh, yeah, I think the and the reading challenge was so good. So I, good. Like I feel like one of the best. Probably. There's so many people that could have won that. Yeah. Shangela or Trixie. I think yeah. Dela did win, but yeah. everyone did really well. It's a great rating, but I wonder what could make it like what would be holding people back from making it higher. Maybe Morgan going versus Chi Chi going. I think maybe I think the variety show had a lot of repetitive numbers, a lot mm. of similar numbers, which I like. I like performance you numbers think? like that. But I remember people were being like, there's a lot of, like, dancey... The only talent show we ever had before this was All Stars 2. Yeah. And the bar was set so high... Exactly. ...that I do remember at the time, which is probably when most of the people rated this, is, yeah. you know, when it was airing. Mm-hmm. I remember the time people feeling like this was lackluster. Yeah. But, like, looking back, I no Ma'am Pam. No, It was I incredible. It. it honestly is probably more consistent yeah. as a talent show. I agree. Dela did the burlesque but made it funny. Aja did dancing <laughs> to the next level, jumping mm-hmm. off the box. Kennedy jumped on the box. I love mm-hmm. Kennedy's. Yeah. Changela so did good. like Changela did like what Alyssa wanted to do with her talent show last time. <laughs> like polished it even better. Uh, yeah. BB's number was everything. That was yeah. stunning. A cultural thing that we still haven't seen anyone do anything like that. Yeah. I even like Trixie playing the, you know Auto Harp. That was kinda Auto like Harp. Mm-hmm. That was kinda like Ginger on All Stars too, where it's yeah. like that's that's mm-hmm. the smoke break. Smoke yeah. Break. Did you hear? I think she said that like the length of her dress, it was like too high, so that's why she was like angled like that the whole time oh. during the during. So now I have the. Yeah. So that yeah, I was that's like hilarious. I, yeah. <laughs> Just a fun fact. Dorothy with the violin. Um. Eight, did you know she was supposed to be playing a RuPaul song? No, I did. They did say that, but I, like, I didn't hear playing. it. Yeah, I'm like, it didn't sound like it at I think all. it was gorgeous because yeah. that because Thorgeous looking good, feeling Doing gorgeous, gorgeous. Yeah. and oh. I was like, I was like, I maybe didn't they get that s- melody at all, though. right? Maybe they were saying, oh, that was the song. She just said that, right? <laughs> I even like Chi Chi's number, even though it was her outfit and her hair wasn't the best for it. I still enjoyed it. That's the thing I would say with this one that is different from most talent shows. Even the bad ones are not bad. Morgan no. is not bad. No, mm-hmm. Chi Chi. Just needed a better look. Her yeah. actual talent was amazing. Yes. Mm-hmm. I wonder if maybe people also didn't like that BB came back because that I was wanted, a, that was a big. I just remember the time. that whole season. I'm like, she's a mole. 
That was a rumor. Yeah. That was and a that would, rumor. if they had done yeah. that, it would have. They should have done that. This made BB bigger than ever. Like it worked. Yes. It, mm-hmm. They brought her back so that she got the exposure and the new group, the new fan base knew her, and it worked because mm-hmm. she's still out there killing it. And she showed like just the best sides of herself. She did. She just didn't change. Yeah, not so crediting cool. Aja for helping her. <laughs> <laughs> Best sides of herself. And sending her home. Yeah. And they sent her home. Well, I mean, my favorite parts of her were like the cr- the kind of the thing we talk about with Chanel or with um, Alexis Michelle, mm-hmm. where like she's crazy and delusional yeah. in her own fantasy. Uh, and yeah. I live for that. Me too. Yeah. She thinks she is the queen. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Up next, All Stars 5 with 8.7 out of 10. Ooh. I'm surprised this one is as high. Me too. I think it's a great episode. And the Derek and India drama. Oh. Great. Derek says this shade is all real, and it was. It was good drama. Oh, that I'm was mad. We didn't get more of that. Shay just walking in was everything. So That's good. one of my favorite uh, highlights of life. Yes. Yeah. Beautiful. It was a great cast. I love this. It cast. was a good yeah. cast. Yeah. I love the lip sync. That's one of my favorite lip syncs of all time. Yes. I love the song. It reminds me of Shrek. Um, Shrek Two. <laughs> the ending of Shrek Two. With Donkey and Puss in Boots. Yeah. <laughs> and for India to even be able to remotely keep up with Evie Oddly is very impressive. That I is. agree, yeah. I do wish that Mariah had won the talent show because it was it was literally everything. I wish Rue would take serious talent shows yeah. like into consideration sometimes. Yeah. Like, yes, we love to make RuPaul laugh, but like it made you feel yeah. something. Mm-hmm. Like that was just a wonderful number. And It's like anytime you, it seems to be looking back now at this like, as we go through them, just like Gia's, like it. Yeah, if it's serious, it's serious or yeah. if it's some sort of specific culture reference, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, they don't want to encourage that or like reward that. I also think yeah. that would help stop it from being repetitive because now that they know that there's a formula to winning it, people are coming with their people original tracks. Yeah. yeah, that's why we got so many yeah. burlesque. Uh-huh. But if know. they reward more original Still numbers, the that's what always wins. Yeah. yeah. They would more people come with a culture and cool stuff if they yeah. had them win. You know, that's because mm-hmm. I feel like a lot of people don't get that that like. Yes, drag can be silly and funny and campy. That's one part. That's one part mm-hmm. of it, one aspect, because there are so... I love when drag is serious sometimes. Yeah, me moving. too. It can be whatever vessel you need. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mariah didn't even get to be in the top. She just got, like, a special shout-out. Yeah, they were like, yeah. great job. By Ricky Martin, not even somebody yeah. on staff. <laughs> Up next is All-Star 7. Hey. With, look at how much we jumped, though. 9.3 out of wow. 10. Wow. I think this is a great episode, and the Mm -hmm. runway was incredible. And Naomi Campbell, and just seeing them all interact together. I didn't like the girl group, though. Besides Shay and Monet, Mm -hmm. who won, rightfully so, I didn't like the number. Actually, Jada did did good, too. Yeah, Jada did. But so I'm surprised that this is rated so high when what was the one, the newest one, All Stars 8, was also a girl group, Uh but was rated so much lower. I mean, the sound editing on this one was wonderful. (laughs) That could be part of it. Um, But, like, in the talent of this is just, like, Next Level and Naomi Campbell. Yeah. And And just seeing them all together. Seeing them all together and it being, like, so revolutionary because, like, every... All the fans have always wanted an all-winner season and then, like, to see it actually materialize, like, that was gag-worthy. Do you remember seeing, like, the promo leak of them at the, like, the Last Supper table shoot? And I remember just, like, the hype around that and it was so exciting. God, I wish that would have been the actual promo. Right? It's just the Entertainment Weekly photo shoot. True, yeah, instead of, like, the ice yeah, I really did like it. Was it was a moment. Yeah, we're talking about it like it was forever ago. It was last. I know. Summer. I it wasn't know. even a year ago. Crazy. That is. But crazy. it was so. It really was impactful. And yeah, and the runway, just everything was so next level. The introduction to the no elimination the and the plunger. point system, the, the plunger. plunger. <laughs> but that's why All Stars Two was so good too. Because it was fresh. Yeah. It was so fresh and new yeah. and exciting. Yeah. Well, and you see, I guess that can go either way when you change it up like that. Because obviously All Stars One, they changed it up too. Yeah. But yeah, sometimes those risks pay off of like switching the format up, and sometimes yeah. it doesn't. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The only thing I don't like is the song. I don't like Legends. I don't like the chorus. I don't like the melody. I don't either. Oh, I really like that. I didn't like it. I didn't like <laughs> how uncohesive their outfits were. Yeah. That part too. Yeah. That was like I'm like can, y'all didn't want to talk. Maybe yeah. nobody match going to the a little. Same party. Yeah. Everyone was going yeah. somewhere else. But I actually I really do like that song. Like something about like. The girl group was not my favorite. And then the other thing that I might rate it lower for is just the plunger in general. Yeah. I yeah. would be okay if I never saw the plunger again. <laughs> that being said, though, like if it did come back for another All Winners, I wouldn't be mad at it because it's yeah. is camp and funny, but. It takes it out of a serious competition to me. It's just so goofy. Yeah, like the chocolate, you know? Yeah, like the chocolate. Like, if they pulled the lipstick as the name of, like, who gets blocked next week, that would be so much more dramatic because it would feel 
as if they're sending them home. Yeah. It would have the like same impact. It yeah. would have the impact of like I've picked your name versus going up and down the line and making jokes like that. Mm-hmm. You know, that's that's something I would change for the next one. Yeah. Um, I want it to be more and serious. I want, for them, that. I want more like Mario Party. I want them to steal stuff. Yes. Like I want more chaos. They like, did do that once, didn't they? No, they didn't steal. They, they gave them gave extra them stars, but I want someone to be like, "I'm taking your star." Yes, like that. Like dr- I'm ooh, down for that. That no. would be so fun. I could see that for a season two. We're at the last one, and the final one, uh, the highest rated of all time, is of course All Stars two, nine point four out of ten. And you kind of touched on a lot of the reasons why just a second ago, because it was so fresh. Yeah. It had been, what, four years in between All Stars? We had to wait four years for this. It was like this myth that we talked about of All Stars 2, and it became almost like a joke. Mm -hmm. Like, we never thought it was coming back. Yeah. And it came back, and they picked a stellar cast. Mm -hmm. The biggest names at the time, incredible superstars. I mean, it was everything. Yeah. And Tatiana. And that's not a read, but that's for real. It is true. She was the underdog. It was a season five reunion. (laughs) Right. We got, I mean, we got Rolaska Talks right away. Yeah. Alyssa and Coco. Just. It was everything. mm -hmm. The biggest villain in Drag Race history. Mm Mm-hmm. And like love. Alaska, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just and then Katya, talk about beloved. Yeah, right. You know, it was, and the talent show really was incredible. And and that was the first time they did the talent show. Ever. Exactly. Groundbreaking, like, legendary. Um, not afraid to reference or not reference. Um, Brilliant. One so club, sorry. another club. <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, and like the, the a great variety in the different types of talents. Like we got mm-hmm. the spoken word, the burlesque. Mm-hmm. Alaska did do an original song, but like sang it live yeah. versus then Ginger and Adore and Fifi sang live. Mm-hmm. Even the, here's the thing with this one that makes it good. Even the bad talent show numbers are cringy in the like Coco's mm. in the best way that's fun to watch. Exactly. Yes. Like versus like think of when we're talking about All Stars three, Morgan and Chi Chi actually did well. There's just things you could tweak. Mm-hmm. Yeah. This one has the elements that you love about Drag Race with the cringe too. Yeah. yeah. Can totally. you imagine though, poor Coco, like because she did the Janet prepared like a Janet reference. Right. And, and she had to come. She had to change it last yeah. minute. Oh, wow. That almost feels like sometimes I'm like, do y'all do that on purpose? Yeah, I is that like to. a setup? Because it's like, gotta be. yeah, because Coco is like is a dancer, she is, is a the, performer. She's yeah. a, the ultimate lip sync assassin to me. Don't even present that as a possibility if you can't get the rights. Right. You know, right. just be like, because now they have. Now like, they do. Yeah, now they. But do. it was quite a few years where they didn't lo- allow the girls to just lip sync a song. That's yeah. true. Yeah. And mm. actually, I. I think that I like it on a regular season, but I wouldn't want them to do that on an all-star season. Yeah. yeah. Well, that would just throw mm. me off, and then I would be like, oh, they're trying to get rid of me, and then I would, you know, it would be mm. a vicious circle, yeah. which is ultimately what happened to her. Exactly. She didn't have a story anymore, because her and Alyssa... Yeah, made up. Sure. They, she she, she should have come in. Enemy. Yeah, yeah, she should have come in bl- guns ablaze and yeah. been like, you know... She's not. one. I mean, people always talk about Tatiana wanting her to come back again for another all-stars, but Coco is... Like t- top of my list of people who need a redemption based yes. on what happened to them on their season. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Anyway, that was a fun list though. Yeah. Yes. Trip down memory lane. Any final yeah. thoughts? Is uh, this how you would have rated them, or is there any? Is what would you had number one? I think I agree with All Stars Two being number uh-huh. one. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And it's one of those things where it's like you can never recreate that. Exactly. That magic yeah. is like you had to be there too. Like exactly. If you weren't there and didn't know how that felt, mm-hmm. it was crazy. I was so excited to see every episode after that. And they were all good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Let us know what you'd put at the top and the bottom of your list and who you want to top you next. I don't know. (laughs) I have one last thing to say. Glad you got to see us. Bye. Bye. (laughs) Bye.